So what if you're given something that resembles the following? You're told that you have a fixed cost of $300,000 and it costs $30 to produce a pair of shoes and then you're going to turn around and you're going to sell those shoes for $80 a pair. So we need to write a cost function and a revenue function. And if you recall from what we talked about in class, the cost function is equal to the fixed cost plus the cost per unit produced. So cost per unit. So I need to have a variable. Well, if I'm using C of X, the X has to be that variable. So that the X in our case is going to be shoes. So my C of X, what is the fixed cost? Well, the fixed cost is the 300,000. And what is the cost per unit? Well, it says it costs $30 to produce a pair of shoes. So it's going to be $30 for every X, each pair of shoes. Now in the next part, we want to write the revenue. Now if we remember correctly, the revenue function tells us that's going to be the price per unit sold, so price per unit, times X. So if I do that, then I've got, it says I sold the shoes for $80 a pair, so that's going to be 80X. So those are really just plug and chug. You've got a formula, you're just plugging in what you know. Now, how do I determine where a break-even point is? Well, to find a break-even, however much of the cost is and however much I'm going to make, it's going to have to equal one another. So your break-even point is going to be when C of X equals R of X. So I'm just going to plug in what I said C of X is. So I've got 300,000 plus 30x, and that's going to equal to 80x. So I need to get all the x's on one side, so I'm going to subtract 30x from both sides. As with previous examples, those 30s cancel, and I'm left with just the 300,000 on the left, and then I've got 50x on the right. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 50, I know right off the bat a zero and a zero are going to cancel and then I'm going to get 6,000, 6, 6,000, sorry. I did take that zero off already, is equal to X. So now I need to find out what is the Y value or the R of X or the C of X. So I think it would be easier, right, to find the R of X. So let's see, so R of X would equal to 80 times 6,000, so that's your Y value, remember, equals 80 times 6,000 is going to be 480,000. So now I need to interpret what does that mean. I've got an X value and I've got a Y value. That's great. That's my break-even point. What does that even mean? Well, we know that the X we said originally was the shoes, so I would have to make 6,000 pairs of shoes and then that would need to earn me how much money? Well, I'd have to earn $480,000.